Hi, Armored Pants here, and I have another tank for you in the French line. This is the tier 8, the AMX 1390. Now, uh, let's have a look at the tech spec first, and as always, we will use a blitzhanger.com, which is a fantastic asset for all blitzers. Now, um, this is a decent light tank, a very typical playstyle for light tanks. However, it does struggle a bit, uh, particularly if you're up tiered. Um, you're up against tier 8s in this, and then sometimes tier 9s. And the 90mm gun has great burst damage if you can get to the sides of the back of your targets. But you will see that um, when you are um, in front of a heavy tank, or even a well armored medium tank like a mod 54, like a uh, type, uh, like a T54 mod 1, you will struggle a bit. And unfortunately, um, therefore, that's what stops this tank really being a great tank. Um, you need to use ambush tactics as with the previous uh, versions of this tank. It is lightning fast, it handles beautifully, gets around the map really well. Uh, 64 kilometers in a straight line, 23 going backwards. Like the tanks before, it has no armor, so just forget about that. You are not going to bounce anything in this unless you get extremely lucky. Um, but having said that, um, it is small and fast, like its predecessors. Therefore, it's a difficult target. Unfortunately, um, counterbalancing that is the fact that you are a HE magnet. Which is why you should run two repair kits. Because you do not want to get cut out in the open with this tank. Uh, which is the same for all of the AMX range, and we've discussed that as we've looked at the previous tiers. Um, again, just looking here, no armor whatsoever. So the tactics are the tactics that we discussed um, for the previous tanks in the different tiers, and that is basically you want to be hit and run, you want to be spotting, scouting, and ambushing. You want to be coming up behind tanks um, on the sides of tanks, you do not want to be in front of the enemy tanks in this. So you need to use your speed, get around the map, get into positions to spot, scout, spot up the enemy. Because now you're in tier eight with this one, it's even more important than in previous tiers. Because a Borsig, or if you're up tiered, something like a, a T30 is just gonna eat you for breakfast. Now I have to apologize, I missed the start of this game, I actually forgot to record, but I just went straight to cap B, met this panther here, and now I'm just putting some damage into him while I'm also trying to cap at the same time. Um, against light and medium tanks, the 90mm gun on this is good. Against heavy tanks, as we said, from the side and back. But when you are up against um, heavy tanks front on, you will struggle. And of course, on the opposite side, they can fire HE at you. They're going to pen you every time. Um, and if you're unlucky enough to get caught by, as I said, a T30, a Borsig, a Waffle Tractor, something like that, they can one-shot you and you will have a very short and very painful game. So you need to spot those guys up before you start venturing out into the open, before you start moving around the full extent of the map. You're really not safe until you know where those big guns are. This way it's also key to um, um, just reloading here in safety. Um, as we discussed before, when you're reloading, um, it's inactive time uh, to a certain extent. Um, so therefore, remain in safety while uh, reloading. You can see though just how maneuverable the tank is, even against the Panther, which is a pretty maneuverable tank itself. It gets around, can do damage, um, and is able to keep itself out of trouble to, uh, to some extent. Obviously, shots that come onto you will pen you but you can keep yourself relatively safe um, by using the speed of maneuverability and of course as I did there, reloading when you're in cover. As I was saying before, uh, we just had a look at that um, uh, reload on that piece of play with the Panther. Um, the initial uh, stages of the game are the most dangerous for you, uh, particularly if there are um, unspotted big guns. You need to look carefully at the setup before you start to play, see what big guns are out there, and you need to help yourself and spot them up. Because while they're unspotted, and if you get spotted, you are extremely vulnerable. So that initial phase of the game, use um, your um, speed, 
to get around the map, scout out those big guns, keep yourself safe, and then you can start to influence the game. You can see here, just in this instant replay, just how good this tank is when you're in an ambush scenario, when you're circling of death, when you're in a brawl, where you can dictate terms. Just look here, the IS, he's really trying to get that last shot into me, but he's always gonna struggle against the speed, versatility of this tank. And also you saw there just how difficult it is to hit, um, even when close up, because it is a very small target. And you should always keep that in mind. You are a small target. Now we're in a 4v4 uh, situation, but we have capped. I'm going to put some hurt in in this tiger. Try to get him in the... You see what I mean there? Um, even on the lower plate in the tiger, front on, I can't pen him um, with normal AP rounds. Now here I was stupid. I thought I was in cover and I wasn't and that Tiger 2 hit me um, and I actually get killed in this game. We do win it, I do get a mastery badge but I actually get killed in this game and it's due to kind of laziness and sloppy play actually. Um, I, both of the shots I took from the Tiger 2, that one and the one that eventually kills me I could have avoided. Um, this is where this tank is good, on the side of heavies, putting in some damage, going to safety to reload um, and I'm going to be able to clear this Tiger now. Um, you know, on the sides and back, the 90mm gun is always going to pen even the biggest heavies. Even if you're up tiered against an E75 or something, it will pen from the back and sides. But the problem is front on, you um, just cannot. But of course, this is not a tank that you should be going front on in. Now I'm spotted here. I should now have rolled back into cover. Um, reset camo. Um, but instead, um, I'm actually um, still um, gonna put myself into trouble here. See, I've spotted up a tiger too, but now he spotted me. And I thought I was gonna be able to get that shot into him, but you see, I didn't pen him, even though he's on the side. He got me a good shot from the tiger, I have to say, and good play from him. He didn't lose concentration. So he took me out. Um, and then, of course, I'm left with my ally, the T44 here. I actually had a decent game too, to clear him off. Um, so a bit of stupid sloppy play from me and um, I knew that the mastery badge was possible so I think I was trying to push in a bit for extra damage there try to push myself over the line in the end I got it anyway but um, and I think I said this before in other videos when um, particularly for me when I think there's a mastery badge on I sometimes throw the rule book out the window and just try to go for it and um, very often it doesn't work out right? um, because you um, start making mistakes then because you're pushing yourself to do things that you wouldn't normally do and um, therefore pushing for mastery badges often leads to you ironically and paradoxically not getting them but in this case i was lucky enough i did manage to secure the mastery badge in it and um, did uh, almost 3.3k of damage three kills uh, capped uh, b as well so uh, and uh, over 1.2k of base xp which is really good and that's what delivered the mastery badge uh, some spotting XP as well um, but you know just to recap um, for most of that game I played that tank as it should be played moving around spotting up firing from cover taking cover when I'm uh, reloading etc got very bit sloppy at the end was lucky to get away with firstly the win and then the mastery badge but let's have um, a recap now that we've had a look at the gameplay and the tech spec it is a good decent light tank and very, basically you play typical light ta uh, tank tactics in it as we've discussed before if you haven't watched the light tank guide therefore on its own channel please do so because the key tactics and pointers and that are, are vital for playing this well it's really fast it's beautifully agile gets around the map really well and you should do that at the start because it is perfect for spotting and you need to spot up those big guns because you are up at the big boys now in tier 8 tier 9 ambush tactics never front on you saw me trying to pen the heavies from front on there even if it's a tier below you're going to struggle the auto loader is effective and there's very good burst damage on it but you need to be behind or on the side of the targets not front on you saw there against the is uh, circle death master just make sure you're fully loaded before going into circle of death count your shells don't get caught short that applies not just to this tank but with all auto loaders just be cognizant of that and um, keep moving you do not want to stop in this tank you saw when i stopped got complacent in this tank you just get smashed and you can be penned by everything 
Uh, so I guess all that remains for me to say is cheers much. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. And I guess pants off.